So um, you say, Paul, that you can suppress Paula's cravings for ice cream in about two minutes. Oh, yeah. Ha ha walk us through it. OK, so it's very simple. Um, the imagination is always more powerful than the will. Now, you know, with my system, I say you can eat any food you want, OK? Because as soon as you make a food forbidden, it becomes all you can think about. You know, as soon as you say, I mustn't have chocolate cake, and you try and will yourself, and you go, I mustn't have it melting in my mouth, it's, it's game over, yeah? So it's the same with the ice cream. If we pull out Paula's uh, favorite ice cream here, look, instantly, she gets a desire going, right? So there's a compulsion, yeah? Now, the thing is, you've got a compulsion, but you've also got a repulsion. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask you to mix the two things at the same time, and one's gonna cancel out the other. What's your repulsion food? What's the food that you absolutely hate the taste of? Brussels sprouts. Okay, so I'd like you to, it's just gonna feel a little bit uncomfortable just for a moment. If you just close your eyes for a second and imagine a great big plate of Brussels sprouts, and I'd like you to imagine opening your mouth and then putting a Brussels sprout in, Paula, and chew that Brussels sprout. And I'm gonna touch you on the shoulder here to create an associational link between the two things. So what I want you to do is to imagine chewing on that Brussels sprout. In fact, imagine chewing on two or three Brussels sprouts, Paula, chewing it properly, that's right. Mm. And in fact, now what I'd like you to do is imagine mixing it as you bite into the ice cream, Brussels sprouts are inside. So the taste of Brussels sprouts and ice cream become mixed together. Chew it and you can taste the coldness of the ice cream, but the texture of the Brussels sprouts. That's right, mix the fav your favorite flavor of ice cream together with the Brussels minute, sprouts. So, oh, and then stop. Now let's just see where we are. So I like to check my work. Open your eyes. Where's your desire on a scale of one to 10 right now? Zero. Zero. No, but surely you'd like some, no? No, but wait, you wait, love wait. this, right? Now, are you, wait, are you, is it really, are you just saying that to, to, I mean... No, my stomach's churning right now. Okay, all right, I'll take this away. Now look, the thing is, it, your desire for ice cream will return, but nowhere near as much as it was. What you're doing is, you weren't born wanting ice cream. It's something you learned. If you learned it, you can unlearn it.